All right, you guys been asking for an update on my beef with YouTube. So here is an interesting one. YouTube just stole $2,000 from me just now, literally just now. So let me give you a little bit of a background if you're not familiar with what's going on, if you're not familiar with the beef that I have with YouTube. Uh, just a really few days ago, YouTube decided to completely demonetize my channel. Now they have been coming after me for quite a while now, honestly, ever since the very beginning. They have been demonetizing my individual videos. They have been deleting my political videos. They have been giving me all these warnings that didn't really make any sense. It's like medical misinformation. I, I had a label, one of the videos, uh, harmful content. One of my gun reviews uh, was uh, labeled. So uh, YouTube has been trying to basically silence, deplatform me for a very long time. And a few days ago, they decided to punish me financially. Um, by labeling my channel, they said the reason was that it mostly contains harmful content, right? So most of my content on my YouTube channel is harmful for you guys. You poor guys, you cannot watch that stuff because it's harmful. Interestingly though, they didn't label any of my videos as being specifically harmful. They didn't get rid of any of my videos. Uh, so the harmful content that I have is still there. It's still available for you to harm all of you, my poor viewers, unfortunately, it's still here. Uh, the only thing that they did is they got rid of the advertisements on my video, so now I'm not making any money. Um, and if you're wondering, if you don't know, $2,000 a month, that was approximately what I was making. Um, I'm not gonna go broke, I'm not gonna go homeless because I don't have this $2,000 because I have my own business going and I had it before I started doing YouTube. Uh, but it does, uh, of course, negatively impact my budget. That, that because this are the money that I used to get new products, new guns, new boots, new gear, whatever, whatever I was reviewing, uh, uh, you noticed, if you have been subscribed to the channel for a while, you noticed that uh, the quality of the videos improved significantly, the sound, the light, the, the, the everything, the video quality in general, the products, uh, I'm getting, the ones that I'm getting now are more, uh, they're newer, they're, they're more modern, they're more interesting to watch, all right? Uh, and unfortunately, now that budget is gone, all right? So that's why I started my Patreon. If you can, please check it out. The link is in the description below. If you can support me through Patreon, I would really, really appreciate it. But let's get back to YouTube stealing $2,000 today, all right? Today, that's not, that's not the $2,000 that I'm referring. My monthly $2,000 income, no. Today they stole $2,000 from me. So, uh, the month of May, we are in June now, June 8th, right? The month of May, the whole month of May, my channel has been monetized. And it made a little bit over $2,000 here, as you can see from my May YouTube analytics, all right? Um, usually what happens is whenever the cycle closes, it takes about a week for YouTube to transfer that money that they have made and I have made on my content, right? So basically how it works is YouTube puts the Google ads on the video, right? And then they obviously make a huge portion out of it, probably like 80%, if not more. And then they pay the rest to me. That's the $2,000. So on the, on the $2,000 that I've made, they probably made $10,000 charging the advertisers. All right, that's how it works. That's th that's what they do. Okay, um, so that two thousand dollars that I've made, normally whatever, whether it's two thousand dollars or whatever I made that month in month of May, I made two thousand dollars, a little bit more, as you can see. About a week, it gets transferred to the Google AdSense account, and the Google AdSense account is basically where all of the money coming in. Uh, from all of the advertising, if you have a blog with ads, YouTube channel, obviously, all of the stuff gets into the AdSense. And then by the end of month, in around 20s, it gets transferred to my bank account, all right? So today, I was supposed to get those $2,000 that I have already made in May, because my channel was monetized. Because YouTube, you made your money in May from my content. All right, and that was the $2,000 that you were supposed to pay me today. And uh, as you can see, here's my AdSense account today. I got 100 bucks from my other channel 
and there is no $2,000, there is no May payment from YouTube for the month of May. Now, okay, I understand that was demonetized, my whole channel was demonetized, I'm not gonna be making money from now on, all right, I get that, I don't get it, it's stupid, but fine, fine. I get that, um, it, it, it makes sense that now I'm not going to be making money, and now you guys can watch all those videos that I have ads free, so at least you're getting something out of it, awesome, uh, but the month of May, you guys watched all these ads, YouTube got paid thousands of dollars, because like I said, it's, it's, the, the money that the advertisers pay to have the ads spinning on the videos, right? The portion of it, the, the most of the portion of it goes to YouTube. And then the rest, whatever, 10, 20%, which is what the $2,000 are, they come to the creator, which is me. And YouTube decided to keep it. Now, <laughs> you're probably wondering, Frank, you're, you know, you're, you're laughing, you're, you're having fun, what, what, like, what, what's going on? You just lost $2,000 a month, monthly income, and YouTube just stole your $2,000. How are you so positive? Uh, well, first of all, um, you have to be positive. You know, stuff happens. We all know that conservative uh, voices are being censored today, so it is what it is. I kind of expected that. Uh, I knew it would happen one day the more my channel grew, so I was kind of mentally prepared to it in a way. You know, I'm a freaking immigrant, a refugee from Middle East. Uh, I came here 13 years ago legally. I went through the legal process of getting my citizenship. 11 years it took me to get the citizenship. I am a Trump supporter. I am a Second Amendment supporter. I am pro-life. I am pro-God. In fact, I got baptized uh, just a couple of weeks ago. The video is on this channel. So I go against the narrative. I'm not that freaking typical ignorant immigrant that comes in here, sits on the freaking welfare, not doing nothing, makes a bunch of freaking babies, gets all the money and then just expects government uh, to do everything for them. And on top of it, worse, whenever they do get their citizenship, they go ahead and vote Democrats because they're freaking idiots. Immigrants that come here that vote Democrat are freaking idiots. Now, people who are born here that vote Democrat, I can't really be so hard on them, all right? Because you don't really see the comparison, guys. You know, I, I can't understand it. You know, I can't understand it. Because you, if you don't travel the world, if you don't see how other people live in other countries, how bad it is, how bad it is in other countries that have been claiming all of this democracy, all of this gun control, gun safety, under these slogans, what kind of horrible things have been happening in those countries. And personally, in my country where I come from, I personally seen horrible things happen under the freaking slogans of democracy and the gun control, all right? So I understand that because you haven't seen, you don't know, you're unworldly, okay? But the freaking immigrants <laughs> that come here Obviously, these are the people that are running away from their crap to come here to a much nicer, much beautiful, free country. And then they freaking vote to ruin it. That I did not get. All right, so uh, I don't know where I was. I, I think the, 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 what I was talking about being positive, all right, to being prepared, of course, I know, I know I, I was, I was, uh, that was going to happen one day. So I was prepared. Uh, number two, I live in Florida. All right, and uh, if, you are, uh, if you are not aware, on July 1st, we have a very important law coming into the uh, effect here. So, uh, yeah, YouTube, yeah, there's, there will be a bunch of Floridians coming after you, and uh, me definitely included uh, on that list, whether it's going to be cl class action, whether it's going to be individual suit, we'll see, but we're definitely coming after you because uh, we're sick and tired of uh, you trying to silence. Uh, really somebody doesn't matter whether it's a conservative voice whether it's you know second amendment gun channel Really anything anybody even liberals, you know if somebody if somebody wants to start a channel and talk about Why they're liberal? Why do they believe what they believe in? Why they decided to vote Democrat? Why they decided to vote for Biden all that sort of stuff and if YouTube goes after them and and decides to silence them decides to deplatform them 
Honestly, I'm not gonna like it as a conservative. I'm not gonna say, yeah, YouTube, go ahead and get those. Whoever, get those liberals. Deplatform them, silence them. No, don't, don't freaking, no, no, I wanna hear, I wanna hear that. I wanna hear different opinions. It's not a one-way freaking street, YouTube. You're not God, you're not freaking government to decide who gets the right to speak and who has to sit freaking silently, patiently and wait till you say, okay, fine, you can speak. You're nobody. You're just a freaking platform. You don't decide, all right? You're just a platform for the video upload. Fine, you, want, you don't wanna keep porn there. I understand that. You don't wanna keep harmful content. You don't wanna show violence or any, anything like that. But whenever it comes to politics, you have no right to silence people. And July 1st, you will learn your lesson. And that's one of the other reasons why I, you know, just patiently waiting for, uh, um, you know, see, see what's gonna happen and uh, see what the people here in, uh, especially in Southwest Florida, because most, most, uh, most of us here are uh, conservatives. And uh, I personally know a lot of people that have been silence that have been deplatformed uh, by YouTube. So that was an update. Uh, so far as you can see things are progressing, it is get worse. And uh, if you're wondering, because in, in the very first video that I made about this issue that the YouTube is trying to kill my channel, um, I have uh, said that uh, I will be uh, creating a brand new channel for, for all my gear reviews. Ultimate Survival Gear is growing over 160 subscribers now. I know there's way more people that are subscribed to this channel that are subscribed to this channel because of my Ultimate Survival Gear. So go ahead and subscribe there. Don't forget that. Please also consider the Patreon. That would definitely be help uh, so that I can continue bringing the content, which I still will, even if you don't subscribe to my Patreon, I still will bring the new content this uh, until YouTube decides to completely kill this channel and delete it or something like that. I will still upload the content, but if I had enough support through Patreon, it would just make it much easier, much with the same consistency, basically, you know, every other day, there's a new gun review, there's a new gear review, there's new whatever review, whatever, you, you, uh, um, you get the point. Uh, so, thank you very much for all your support. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.